now if you get if you take the slack of the wire yep. just pull it down a bit. I teach at a university, so my work's divided between teaching students and doing research. And there's an overlap where you're teaching postgraduate students in how to do research. Um, and it's all actually very enjoyable and fun. Um, it's lovely seeing people come into university aged 18 and go out adults and know that you've actually helped form some of their the way they think about things and there's you teach them facts but there's it's it's how they approach problems that's really what's going to influence the rest of their lives and that's that's a nice thing to do and in terms of research just finding out stuff is fun that's there is a magical moment when you realize that you're probably the only person in the world that's knows about this or thinks about this and that, that feels quite exciting and then the next exciting thing is telling them everyone else about it and that's... Worst part is that like any manager you've got a responsibility for the people that work for you so part of my job is keeping my research team employed making sure they've got a job to go to next year and the way research funding works is it's very hit and miss. A typical research grant proposal has perhaps a one in five, one in six chance of being funded. So sometimes things come in, sometimes things can't and clearly you write the best application you can but after that it's out of your control so it's this nasty um, position of being in part responsible for things that you can't control which is always stressful. I don't think in my field it's, it's like that, you know, there's no unified field theory that you can crack or theorem to solve. I just want to hopefully improve the quality of a lot of people's lives. If my research can improve their medical care or can save their lives because the car bump has been designed a different way, that's that's, you know, that, that will be wonderful. I think people have a stereotype of a scientist. Um, you know, even at primary school level, we, we have a, for the outreach thing for the primary school children, as part of their assembly, we have a spot the scientist slide, and you know, we have pictures of people drilling boreholes through ice at the North Pole, dressed as Eskimos, and space walks and people swinging from trees collecting samples from uh, from flowers or whatever and we have someone with coloured test tubes in a white lab coat and that's still the one that gets the the comment and you know when you tell the children actually they're all scientists you sort of is there a stunned silence and they say Wow, I want to be a scientist if I can be an astronaut and I think there is still a feeling that people um, lock themselves up in with white lab coats and so much of science isn't like that and scientists just aren't. See, useless in anywhere else. Went to university when he was 17, never came out. No hope whatsoever. No, no dream? No. I'm living my dream. It's great. <laughs>